I've got a, I'm going to hit a shot as I'm playing on the golf course. And let me take, let me walk you through it. Naturally, you're going to have the golf course is going to ask you questions. I'm going to hit a nine iron. I'm going to hit it to that. There's three white flags. I'm going to hit that middle white flag over there. Okay, I'm not sure how far that is, but I think I have an appropriate club, give or take. And this is the kind of what goes on connecting connecting a few dots, right? Do we want you to be massively um, technical when you play? Absolutely not, okay? Uh, you all proficient typers? I'm sure you are. Think about what I said earlier, okay? Stuff kind of was like, what did I just type? Oh, yeah, okay, that sentence is good. And move on. My thoughts just flow, right? With time, you're gonna. this is going to flow as well, okay? So behind the line thoughts, you guys, what club do I need? Is there wind? Uh, where do I want to miss? Do I want to be a little to the right of the flag? Okay, I want to want to be a little to the right of that flag. I like how Andrew puts that. That's great. So I'm going to make sure my bias is fractioning to the right of the flag because there's maybe a short side, a bunker, etc., to the left. Now, as I walk in to hit a shot, you guys, I'm doing a couple of things. I'm connecting a starting form to a finishing form. So this is my starting form, guys. Am I? What am I doing right now? See the mobility? I'm not standing here like a statue over it, am I? I'm fluid and I'm dynamic. How about the golf club, guys? Is it on the ground? Never. It's never on the ground. Ever. Okay? Start watching tour players and take notice. They're going to walk up. Every single one of them is going to be kind of standing there, feeling pressure in their feet, waggling the golf club in their hands. And then they start their swing. Then what happens when a tour player hits it? Usually it's a centered strike, and maybe they take a skinny little divot afterward. Mo Norman called that divot a bacon strip, not a pork chop. Okay? This is the key. And this is what I was talking to you, big guy. Okay? Lyle is, is this, connecting starting forms to finishing forms. And this is how Newton taught me to do it, and this is how I want you to consider it. I work on technical things, okay? Out of swing, skill, and shot, I work on technical things. But right now, here's a starting form. I'm going to go to my finishing form, guys. Okay. In my finishing form, I reflect. What did you notice about my finishing form? Yeah, had a little balance. Now, do you have to hold it? No, some of you can hold it. Some of you have bad hips, some of you, and that's okay, too. Okay, but my intent, you guys, is what's the important piece there. This thing, it may as well just be a wrecking ball. Okay, it could be, it could be connected via a rope. It could be connected via a chain. It happens to be connected via a shaft. Okay, this is something we swing around us to a finishing form. There was no ball in, in the space with which I swung at that time, so I missed. Okay, but the same intent happens when I'm hitting a shot or doing what I just did. You know, it, I'm never just staring at Whitey, oh dear, please God, let me hit it. All right? Maybe I miss hit it. I miss hit plenty of shots, trust me. Okay? I hit plenty of good shots. I hit plenty of indifferent shots, the three shots in golf. Good one, bad one, or indifferent one. Okay? Nobody dies. There's no, there's no, you're going to get killed if you miss hit it. Okay? Do you see the connection here of starting form to finishing form? It's not about staring at Whitey and hitting Whitey. It's about energizing this behavior, letting that behavior collect the golf ball, and finding this position of balance if you can. If you can't, so be it. If some lim limitation creates an imbalance, fine. But if we have the idea of how we're swinging the weight of the golf club, guys, swinging the weight of the golf club, I say that because I want you to feel the rhythm of this thing. Okay, and I'll, you be my guinea pig, Wells. Come on up here, bud. Okay. Right here beside me. Hold your hand out like this. Okay, you're just going to hold this club up with the pincher fingers right at the top. Okay. Now you feel what I'm doing with you here. I'm going to get this going. And then I'm going to get it going faster by the sense of ups, up, up. You feel that? Mm -hmm. I didn't move you left and right to make it, you know. No. What I did was, guys, I'm letting him play with the inertia of this. Okay, you sensing what I'm feeling there? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Next, come on up here, feel this for a second. That's playing with it. You'll get a chance in just a sec, Jerk. You'll be next in two seconds. Hold your in index finger and thumb right here, okay? I'll get it going. 
and then play with what I'm doing here. Wait, 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 wait calm down there, big guy. <laughs> calm down. It's all about power, baby. It's all about power. Okay, but power has to be applied at the right place or power is useless. You with me? Right. So he was applying it at the wrong time, but you get how yeah. there's a feel of rhythm there, right? Do that again. And it's not about moving left and right, is it? When the club has been working its way, there's an optimal time, guys, when you can have a little tug here, isn't there? It's about feeling the, yeah, you're right. You feel that inertia and rhythm. Now, Jer, come on up and you can ask your question. Swing and shot and... Okay, so you got swing, skill, oh, and skill then shot. And shot. Okay. So, Jer, what was your question? So, when you're talking about doing baby draws, yeah, uh, the path and the face are both... To the right. To the right? The face is just less to the right. Okay, so you are literally setting it up like, oops, whoops, okay. I didn't hold it enough. No, it's okay, I'm, you know. <laughs> Energy. <laughs> so can you feel there's a timing here? Yeah. When the thing's working its way down, uh, up increases the speed, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Come on up, guys. Feel this awareness, okay? Feel this rhythm, this magic in this, okay? I mean it. So here's, if I get this going, there's a timing in here. If you're early, it doesn't work, does it? Mm -mm. If you feel the weight of it, that's how little LPGA Tour ladies can bomb the shite out of it. They're not tearing phone books in half, are they? Okay, come on up, big guy. You guys kind of get in the, 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 there's a, there's a time in golf when technique, here you go. Okay, so I'm going to get it going for you. Relax, relax, mister. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Good. You feel it? Yeah. Good. So do you guys, do you guys pick that up when I'm, when I'm coaching you on here? There's a moment here, okay, where you, I can look at a golf ball. And I've got a club, I've got the weight of a golf club in my hands. Here's me swinging the weight of a golf club from a starting form to a finishing form. Okay, T to my target, right? Okay, the same thing is going on there, guys. People look at that and go, okay, there's, there's so much technique going on there, when really, what's my primary goal of playing golf? I got the weight at the end of a stick. I take great care in how I put my hands on so that I don't really have to worry about that face anymore. I don't want to try to manipulate that face and guide that face and steer that thing with two hands on the bus. Okay, I want to swing the weight of it. I want to give up control to gain control so I can hit lovely shots that have rhythm. And people say, man, your swing looks effortless. Well, there's effort there, believe me. I'm swinging the weight of the golf club uh, as fast as I can, which isn't that fast anymore. But there's, there's some energy in there because I feel the rhythm of it. You know, Sweet Sue, this is what I was trying to work on with you. Yeah. Right? Because this behavior, and you're the only one who hasn't done this, so come on up here for a sec. Okay, come on up, come on up. You're more important though, you're the girl. <laughs> so just give me your right hand. Just, and hold this with your thumb and index finger. Just like so, okay? okay. Now I'm going to get this going, and let me, be the, let me be the engine. You just feel this. So oh, see yeah. how there's a down? Yeah. And that little bit of up mm -hmm. creates a lot of what? Mm -hmm. Creates a lot of Ooh. force. That force could do work on my shoe, couldn't it? I, that's what I want you guys to understand. Not misapplied forces, peaceful forces that accelerate things and can really impress a golf ball. You with me? Okay. So every shot I hit is about a starting form to a finishing form and a moment of reflection. Good, bad, or indifferent. Sometimes it's a damn it. Sometimes it's a, well, that was nice. Sometimes I get a little spin and get all helium tested because it was a really nice one. But every shot, it's good, bad, or indifferent. Not life or death. Can you take a starting form and connect it to a finishing form? That's a nice way to look at golf, isn't it? Rather than, oh, I got to tuck this in, I got to do this, I got to put this here, I got a checklist on my white shirt written upside down to go through 45 things. You'll do that when you're developing swing out here. When you play golf, you play. You're more in the skill piece, okay? But if you can connect two things, starting form to finishing form, you're going to be awesome, okay? Questions?